In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God of power and mercy, in love you sent your Son that we might be cleansed of sin and live with you forever. Bless us as we gather to reflect on his suffering and death that we may learn from his example the way we should go. We ask this through that same Christ our Lord, the first station, Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Then Jesus came to them to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, sit here while I go over there and pray. He took along Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to feel sorrow and distress. Then he said to them, my soul is sorrowful even to death. Remain here and keep watch with me. He advanced a little and fell prostrate on, in prayer saying, my father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. When he returned his disciples, he found them asleep. He said to Peter, so you cannot keep watch with me for one hour. Watch and pray that you may not undergo the test. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Lord, grant us strength and wisdom that we may seek to follow your will in all things. Then while Jesus was still speaking, Judas, one of the 12, arrived accompanied by a crowd with swords and clubs who had come from the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders. His betrayer had arranged a signal with them, saying, the man I shall kiss is the one. Arrest him and lead him away securely. He came and immediately went over to him and said, Rabbi. And he kissed him. At this they laid hands on him and arrested him. Lord, grant us the courage of our convictions that our lives may faithfully reflect the good news you bring. When the day came, the council of the elders of the people met, both chief priests and scribes, and they brought him before their Sanhedrin. And they said, If you are the Messiah, tell us. But he replied to them, If I tell you, you will not believe. And if I question, you will not respond. But from this time on, the Son of Man will be seated at the right hand of the power of God. And they all asked, Are you then the Son of God? He replied to them, You say that I am. Then they said, What further need have we of te for testimony? We have heard it from his own mouth. Lord, grant us your sense of righteousness that we may never cease to work to bring about the justice of the kingdom that you have promised. Now Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard. One of the maids came over to him and said, you too were with Jesus, the Galilean. But he denied it in front of everyone saying, I do not know what you're talking about. As he went out to the gate, Another girl saw him and said to those who were there, This man was with Jesus the Nazarene. Again, he denied it with an oath. I do not know the man. A little later, the bystanders came over and said to Peter, Surely you too are one of them. Even your speech gives you away. At that, he began to curse and to swear. I do not know the man. And immediately a cock crowed. Then Peter remembered the word that Jesus had spoken. Before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. He went out and began to weep bitterly. Lord, grant us the gift of honesty, that we may not fear to speak the truth, even when difficult. The chief priests with the elders and the scribes, that is, the whole Sanhedrin, held a council. The bound, they bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. Pilate questioned him, Are you the king of the Jews? He said to him in reply, You say so. The chief priest accused him of many things. Again Pilate questioned him, Have you no answer? See how many things they accuse you of. Jesus gave him no further answer, so that Pilate was amazed. Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas and handed Jesus over to the be crucified. Lord, grant us discernment that we may see as you see, not as the world sees. The sixth station, Jesus is scourged and crowned with thorns. 
We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Then Pilate took Jesus and had him scourged, and the soldiers wove a crown out of thorns and placed it on his head, and clothed him in a purple cloak. And they came to him and said, Hail, King of the Jews! And they struck him repeatedly. Lord, grant us patience in times of suffering, that we may offer our lives as a sacrifice. The seventh station, Jesus bears the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. When the chief priests and the guards saw Jesus, they cried out, Crucify him, crucify him. Pilate said to them, Take him yourselves and crucify him. I find no guilt in him. They cried out, Take him away, take him away, crucify him. Pilate said to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priest answered, We have no king but Caesar. Then he handed him over to them to be crucified. So they took Jesus, and carrying the cross himself, he went out to what is called the place of the skull, in Hebrew, Golgotha. Lord, grant us strength of purpose that we may faithfully bear our crosses each day. This is helped by Simon and the Cyrenian to carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. They pressed into service a passerby, Simon, a Cyrenian, who was coming from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross. Lord, grant us willing spirits that we may be your instruments on earth. The ninth station, Jesus, meets the women of Jerusalem. <clears throat> we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. A large crowd of people followed Jesus, including many women who mourned and lamented him. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. We've been said for yourselves and for your children. For indeed, the days are coming when people will say, Blessed are the barren, the wombs that never bore, and the breasts that never nursed. At that time, people will say to the mountains, fall upon us, and to the hills, cover us. For if these things are done when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? Lord, grant us gentle spirits that we may comfort those who mourn. The 10th station, Jesus is crucified. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. When they came to the place called the skull, they crucified him. And the criminals there, one on his right, the other on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Lord, grant us merciful hearts, that we may bring your reconciliation and forgiveness to all. The eleventh station, Jesus promises his kingdom to the good thief. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Now one of the criminals hanging there reviled Jesus, saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. The other, however, rebuking him, said in reply, Have you no fear of God? Are you not subject to the same condemnation? And indeed, we have been condemned justly, for the sentence we receive corresponds to our crimes. But this man has done nothing criminal. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied to him, Amen, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Lord, grant us perseverance that we may never stop seeking you. Jesus speaks to his mother and the disciple. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his home. Lord, grant us constancy that we may, we may be willing to stand by those in need. The thirteenth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. It was now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon because of an eclipse of the sun. Then the veil of the temple was torn down the middle. Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. And when he said this, he breathed his last. 
Lord, grant us trust in you that when our time on earth is ended, our spirits may come to you without delay. The 14th station, Jesus is placed in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who was himself a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be handed over. Taking the body, Joseph wrapped it in a clean linen and laid it in his new tomb that had been hewn in the rock. Then he rolled a huge stone across the entrance to the tomb and departed. Lord, grant us your compassion that we, we may always provide for those in need. Let us pray and reconciles all people to you. May we, who have faithfully reflected on these mysteries, follow in your steps and so come to share your glory in heaven where you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.